Hey, how'd New Year's Eve go for everyone? I hope it went well. Well, it didn't go so well for Japan, so let's check out the earthquakes. Ohio, it didn't go well for you either. You had a 4.0 on the 31st. Not good here. 3.5 on the 31st in Oklahoma. Two on the first in Utah. You see a whole bunch of two action down here in California. And we're going to come on down here and head south. 4.3 on the first offshore of Guatemala. 4.3 on the 31st offshore of Guatemala. 4.6 31st east off the coast of Peru. 4.4 on the first south of Panama. 4.3 on the 29th, that's a couple of days old. 5.3 on 31st in Argentina. Swinging on around. We end up seeing a 5.3 on the 31st in the South Island of New Zealand. 4.9 on the 1st south of the Kermadex. On the 30th they did have a 5. We also have a 5.1 on the 1st in Vanatau. 5.2 on the 1st in Santa Cruz Islands. 4.9 on the 1st in Papua New Guinea. 4.8 on the 31st in Indonesia. 5.0 on the 1st in Indonesia. 5.3 on the 1st in Indonesia. 4.6 on the 1st India region. 4.6 on the 1st, India Region. 4.8 on the 31st in the Japan Region. There's your 6.8 on the 1st in the Japan Region. I heard there was two 7.0's, I haven't been able to find anything about 2 or 7.0, I've only been able to see anything everywhere record this one 6.8 there have been articles saying different January the 1st 4.7 Japan 4.5 January the 1st in Japan and then we can swing around and see Russia gets a little piece of the action hello Russia 4.7 on the 1st January the 1st 2012 they usually get pretty well out of the action. Remember that a 6.6 .6 not long ago. And then you get your bunch of swaths of twos up here in the Alaska area. You did have on the 30th 4.7 and 4.5 right here. Let me swing around and check everything else out over here. You get a 4.9 on the 31st in Pakistan. And you got a 4.4 .4 on the 31st in Turkey, Iran, Iraq border region. And you've got a 4.2 on the 1st in Romania. It pretty well looks like we've covered the world. Other than Japan, <coughs> we have a bunch of fives in Indonesia, it looks like. Pretty well the most activity going on. 
four in Ohio, three and a half here in Oklahoma. And then we have a little, little article over here from the Examiner, examiner.com. Science is taking on all the things about the Mayan prophecy. They're in debunking mode. Now let us read along and see what are they debunking. What are they saying? What are they telling us? Okay. People all over the world. Think that December the 21st, the long count calendar will run out. And see the, this right here. Believe the world will end. I keep saying it won't end. It'll change. The planet's not going to blow up into smithereens and be ended. While a long time day of interest in the French community is the end of the long count draws near, an ever increasing number of ideas of how it would end are popping up all over thanks to the internet. Is there anything to fear? And the short answer is, according to them, no. When it comes to the ways the world could end, doom from space is a very common scenario. From rogue planets to solar storms, many cosmically inspired scenarios have been put forth, all of which have a common thread. They are groundless. Right now, space.com, one of the web's premier space news websites, has a NASA-aided article. Dealing with popular space inspired doomsday scenarios with explanation of why they should not cause any fear. Idea Rogue planet will collide with Earth. Fact No rogue planet exists. Anything the size of a planet would have been found by now. Now, <clears throat> am I not hearing something right? Or have I not been able to? Did I not find readings that said that Lovejoy was as big as a planet-sized object? You know, that's what it's, I, I found things that said it was a, a planet-sized object. Did anybody else find that except for me? Surely you got not. Anyway, that's what they said. Anything the size of a planet would have been found by now. I swear I read that. Galactic alignments mean doom. That's the idea. Fact. Only sun and moon have enough of a gravitational pull on the earth to do anything to us. Idea. Solar storms will destroy the earth. Fact. While they can play havoc with our electronics, there is no way to predict if a solar superstorm will occur at all, much less on a specific date. Hmm. Idea. Magnetic pole shift throws Earth into turmoil. Fact. While flips do occur, nothing other than having to flip the compass will happen. Well, they're admitting they do occur, but they're just saying we're not going to have one. That's short and sweet, isn't it? Idea. Death by asteroid and comet. Fact. Such objects are always whizzing through space, but none are expected to come anywhere near the Earth in 2012. And that's just the nuts and bolts of this little article. For the detailed explanation, click the link which says go here. Hmm. Well, it has begun. Now, hold your enemies close because you can keep an eye on them better. Space.com, NASA, Space Weather, all of them, sources for information, which you have to keep in mind, the information may not always be forthright. You know, just because they're a space agency and they have big brains working there, that doesn't mean they're always going to put out true things, does it? It's usually pretty reliable. Uh, but, still, they could 
lie. And then we had some weird crazy things, you know, all over the world on New Year's Eve. And this is in Taipei, Taiwan. Look to the upper left over in here and along these tree lines and then over here to the right when these fireworks start. See that dot up in there? That's supposed to be a UFO they reported. You can see it up about till when the fireworks begin and then it kind of gets lost in the brilliance of the fireworks. We just keep looking up or left above the trees and then above that tip there and you can see it. See as it starts counting down you can see it good now. Everything starts blowing up and it kind of gets lost about halfway through in the flash of everything. They've got another one over in, there's a video for another one over in Russia where a lady said she saw, I think, a, a triangle one and another kind of an orb shaped one. It's over the tree line now and going down and it'll come down kind of towards the bottom, get lost in the trees but you can still kind of see it. There it was. And then it comes over to the lower right of the explosions, too. Now that's probably about the best that we're going to get to see it. See, the firecrackers are throwing off some stuff, so it's kind of getting mixed in with that. <clears throat> I got some pretty good fireworks there at least. It's making some big old explosions, isn't it? I believe we've seen about all we're going to find of that. Now I'm going to go backwards. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't go take a look at the Russian one. I believe they had a link down there where they said there was one that also happened in uh, Berlin. And see this guy that uh, took that video He, I believe it said he had a blog, I mean, blog writings. Scott Waring of UFO Sightings Daily, a highly regarded blog that focuses on sightings around the world. And he's the one that took the video, apparently. And you come down here, there's a couple of other ones. And you've got a bright red pyramid UFO and glowing white orb spotted over Texas. Okay, well, we got a couple more we can look at. Let me go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, let's go ahead and see what appeared over over Texas since they're my south neighbor. I'm going to be wanting to see what this is. You remember I got a couple of videos where I have some pictures of orb looking things. Nobody's ever been able to tell me what they were. I've had people say they're dust on the lens and 
all kinds of things. Uh, according to a Georgetown, Texas lady named Diane, she and a friend of hers were having a cigarette outside and watching a movie. When they saw a UFO that resembled a, lo a red Las Vegas neon sign, she said it looked like a pyramid and it was bright red. It was about 1 o'clock in the morning when they first saw it. They got kind of freaked out by it and, by it and continued to watch it. And she provided a description of the pyramid with a video of a different UFO sighting. And they're star, proud stargazers. And they claim they've been seeing strange things in the sky for nine months. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't get the huge red pyramid. If she did, she hadn't shared it yet. But they did get this one of the orb. Let's see. Let's see what this orb looks like. Yep, looks like I can see an orb there. <clears throat> well, it's something. Can't really make it out exactly. It's kind of hazy. Can't tell if she's moving the camera or trying to focus it or what. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to say while we're watching this. Any of y'all tried to get on the Sechi site? I've not been able to get on it today at all. And I couldn't get on it yesterday at all. I don't know if they've got an equipment problem or the sun messed up some of their stuff or what. But it just sits there and tries to load forever and then it times out and won't connect. At least for me. Well, I don't know what's going on at Sechi. <laughs> well, she's photographing something, but I can't really tell for what that is. The video's shaking everywhere. can't tell if that's that object doing that or if that's her doing that let's see we're gonna look at a cloud cam over in Hawaii after this and and those streaks on the time-lapse photography you would think that they would be airplanes either landing or taking off but not a bird because a bird's not illuminated. It doesn't have its own source of illumination when it's flying, leaving a streak. Airplanes do have some lighting, so you would say, yeah, that's an airplane, but but I found a spot in this cam where it looks like it's coming from straight up and down. Like it came out of the sky and it's going straight down, so an airplane doesn't go straight down unless it's crashing it looks pretty freaky so when we get done here we'll look at that and we'll check out that nice horizon while we get to that point in the film I 
Well, I wish you'd have got the red pyramid. But she could have just made that up. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever that is, she's bringing it in closer, but it surely didn't stay still. It's either moving or she's moving. Something. <laughs> Got that streaky look sometimes, too. Well, I think we've seen about all the beauty out of that that we're going to. <clears throat> so let's go and see let's go see what is our what did our Russians see Okay. Well, there's one in Colombia. Metallic UFO. It's a Christmas Day appearance in Colombia. There's a strange UFO near Kent. Tubular cigar shaped UFO flies vertically over Rio de Janeiro. Hmm. Well. Where do you want to go? You want to go to Russia? You want to go to Colombia? Let's see what Colombia did. I'm a little curious to see what this metallic UFO looks like. Mm-hmm. Apparently had a rash of strange things. Certainly they couldn't have all been. Mistakes. Made an appearance over home on Christmas Day. Hmm. It says it was more than a minute long. Well, this footage they're providing a few days before New Year's Eve. Whoop. Doesn't look like a bird. It's not very clear, really. Look kind of saucer shape. Can't tell if somebody's faking it with some kind of remote controlled toy or something. Uh, there's nothing there now. You lost it. Oh, I think we've seen about all we're going to see from Columbia. I can really tell nothing on that one. So that one there, I'm not wasn't very impressed with that one.
What do you say we go see what we can find in the Russian one? Let's see, I have to go back one more, I believe. far enough. I think that link was before the one in Taiwan. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I forgot about that. We'll go do this first. You had some more dead birds that fell out of the sky on New Year's Eve in Arkansas. And the gist of the article says it's the same thing that happened last New Year's Eve. And you've got scientists saying that it's a crackling from the firecrackers that scared the birds and drove them into a tizzy and then they all plowed into the ground and all that stuff. But you got a video you can watch. This isn't that good of a video, but, uh, but it is one. DB Arkansas banned fireworks, prompted to ban them, after dozens were found dead on December 31st, 2011, one year after the original incident. Bird deaths not officially blamed on the fireworks, but the authorities took proactive measures in an attempt to stop the carnage by enacting the ban. Dead birds first reported about 7 o'clock p.m., right about the time the revelers first began to set off the firecrackers. Animal control and police are removing the dead birds, attempting to determine a final count, as well as the cause. Okay, so there's your dead bird report, at least in Arkansas, there. There's the Russian UFO video. We'll see what's going on in Russia. And then get some action. You know, they got a six, what, 6.6 6 earthquake, and what did we see just a minute ago, 4.7. Okay. This would be Shayobinsk, Oblast, Russia ushered in 2012, one of the first sightings. The early morning UFO was recorded sometime after midnight. You can hear a man speaking, but we won't listen to the audio. As well as what appears to be fireworks in the distance, you can see that the objects that the cameraman caught are definitely not fireworks. Two softly flickering red lights can be seen hovering in the dark and it's not possible to tell whether they're two separate orbs or one single UFO with two glowing lights on it. Okay. We'll go ahead and click our video here and let it load up and we'll see what the two two blinking objects are. What are you going to have for us, Russia? Wow, you can't really see him. Well, I can see something, but it's pretty dim. 
I have no clue what this is. Boy, that is hard to see there. I don't know if I'd say those are UFOs. They were there and I wasn't. That's really fast, but I don't know about that. Boy, I don't know. That's really dim to me. Well, let's go over here and I'll show you what I was talking about. We'll see some nice horizon. Long about 53 seconds, I'm going to try to stop this thing. And if these are, <clears throat> you know, if the streaks are like planes taking off and stuff, then... And I don't believe they're, all, they're birds because they're... They have their own illumination, it looks like. So, I'll show you what I mean whenever we get there. So if they're airplanes, they would be on an angle for taking off and for descent and landing. It wouldn't be coming straight up and down. Birds don't even fly straight up and down. Here yeah, we're getting close. I'm going to try to be stopping it now. There you go. You see that come from above and go straight down? I'm trying to catch it right at the top, but I don't know if I'm be able to. I'm going to have to go back farther and try that again. Really hard to catch his time lapse right at the exact time. Oh, I missed it again. Okay, I'll give it my best shot now, try and stop. There you go. Now, that can't be an airplane, it's coming from above. It's going straight down. That's a hell of a bright bird. He must want something pretty bad. He's flying straight down to attack it. Shooting star. Well, I guess it fell to the ground, man. Well, you can see some freaky things, and you can't rule out everything what it is. That's not an airplane doing that. That's not a bird doing that. Give me some suggestions. What's your opinion on what is coming straight down? And the rest of it's just a nice horizon. But no, I don't believe that's an airplane. No, I don't believe that's a bird. I don't know what it is, but I know what I believe it's not. It sure looks freaky. Look at all them stars out there. 
beautiful, absolutely. Now that's the end of our film here. So I hope I stirred your brain, brought some things into it that you didn't know. I'm going to head off here. I've got something else I want to get loaded up here and bring to you. It's going to be some truths about what's really going on in Israel. They're the marker on the ground. They're on the ground. Events in the sky. Both of them work together. God bless you all. Ooh. No T-bowing today. Oh, the young man's going through a rough time, isn't he? But, he'll learn. Everybody should get off his back about his religion. That's probably what's got into his head. All the pressure. He just needs to find a way to get rid of that pressure. And he needs his God-given talent. So I'll talk to everybody soon. God bless. And I'm off work tomorrow. Got a long weekend. I'll talk to you soon.